Welcome back to our Herd Elephant Educational Series. Episode 3 is all to do with baby elephants, which we refer to as elephant calves, and we are going to share not one, but two different elephant behaviours with you during this episode. We decided to do two together in one, as they are so easy to identify, and both behaviours have for the most part only one context to interpret. Another reason for featuring them together is that they are normally observed taking place at the same time. Before we continue, we would like to say a very special thank you, as always, to the incredible team at Elephant Voices for creating the Elephant Ethogram after five decades of research and sharing their knowledge with the world and giving us the tools to share our interpretations of elephant behaviours using our herd archive footage, which we are sharing with you. The first behaviour is called comfort suckling, and it is seen in only one context, making it easier to learn, understand and identify. The context is called calf reassurance and protection. If we take a look at our context wheel, you can see between all of the 23 contexts, comfort suckle is only seen in calf reassurance and protection. But what does the context calf reassurance and protection refer to? Elephant Voices describes it as follows. Behaviors employed to defend, protect, help, guide, comfort, or console calves, or in calf solicitation of such actions. The behavior, comfort suckling, is described as follows. An adolescent female or other non-lactating female permitting a calf to suckle from her, or a calf suckling from a non-lactating female. Our loyal followers will already be aware that the females of the Jabalani herd are non-lactating, which means they do not produce milk. This is due to the elephants being on contraception. Therefore, with the rescued calves being accepted into the herd, the suckling that you will observe taking place by rescued calves Pebeni or Kanisa is accurately referred to as comfort suckling rather than just suckling, as the calves are not actually drinking milk, but the action of drinking is very comforting and consoling for them. The second behavior we are learning about today is called the suckle stance which can be observed in only two contexts. But for this video, we will focus on just one, which is calf, nourishment, and weaning. Let's take a look at the behavior in our context wheel. The first of the two contexts you can observe suckle stance in is during birth. And then the second and final context is calf, nourishment, and weaning. But what does the context calf, nourishment, and weaning refer to? Elephant Voices describes it as follows. Behaviors engaged in by mother and calf to meet the nutritional requirements of the calf and during the process of weaning. The behavior suckle stance is described as follows. An adult or juvenile female standing with a forefoot placed in a forward position, thus allowing an infant or calf access to her breast. So let's delve into a few video clips of Pabeni and Kanisa that showcase some of the exceptional cows of the Jabalani herd who continue to accept rescued calves into their unique social structure. Each calf seems to have had one key female adopt them as their own child and many of the remaining females play essential roles as allo mothers. Allo mothering is when the care of the calf is shared with other females of the herd other than its mother. There is another behavior called allo suckling, which would be applicable if the calf was suckling from another lactating female other than its mother. The adoptive mothers and allo mothers of the Jabalani herd have provided the calves with essential love, comfort and kindness by allowing them to comfort suckle from them. The movement suckle stance is seen when the adult female moves one of her forefeet forward that is closest to the calf creating a space for easier access for the calf to reach their breasts and nipples with their mouth and to be able to suckle, or in this case, comfort suckle, as their essential milk formula is provided by their human carers at specific times of the day. This is Kanisa, a rare albino elephant calf and snare survivor who was rescued in January 2020. This video was taken in May 2020, where she is comfort suckling from her aloe mother, Booby. It provides a lovely close-up of Kanisa grasping Booby's nipple with her mouth, 
while Booby has placed her right foreleg in a forward position, which is called the suckle stance, and provides Kinesa with full access to her breast. This is Pabeni, who was rescued in November 2023. He had been found alone with no trace of his family and estimated to be four months old at the time. This was one of the first introductions he had to members of the Jabalani herd in January 2024. He is seen here comfort suckling from Lundi, who has become a special aloe mother to him ever since. You could see Lundi moving her left foreleg forward in a suckle stance to give her Benny lots of space to reach a nipple and comfortably comfort suckle from her. Pabeni is seen here on a chilly morning with his sweet zebra blanket, which has become quite famous having been a firm favourite of Kinesis too. The adult female next to him adopts a suckle stance, and her name is Satombe, who is the largest of the herd's females, and has boldly taken on the role of Pabeni's adoptive mother. Satombe has a daughter of her own named Klesiri, who was born in 2007. As you can see, Satombe has placed her left foreleg forward, gesturing for Babeni to comfort suckle from her. Now it lifts, she lifts her leg, look at me. And she went down yeah, that... Too for him to reach. Yes. <laughs> This was quite a special moment that Pabeni shared with his Ella mother Lundi. You can hear the excitement in Adine's voice. It was during their first meeting in January of this year, 2024. You can clearly see Lundi not only moving her left foreleg forward, but actually lifting it for him too, to help him as much as possible in reaching her nipple. Let's rewind now to 2020 again, where we can see a young Kanisa comfort suckling from Booby. Booby's right foreleg is moved forward ahead of her left foreleg, giving ample access for Kanisa to comfort suckle from Booby.
The team at Heard fondly remembers how exciting this moment was. It was the first time that Tokwe, the matriarch of the Jabalani herd, had allowed Kanisa to comfort suckle from her. You see Kanisa standing with Booby whilst out in the bush, and Booby politely moves aside for Tokwe to move in. You could see Kanisa's little trunk searching for Tokwe's nipple, who then positively responds by moving her right foreleg forward into a suckle stance and allowing Kanisa to comfort suckle from her. We included a long video clip of this, as it was really an endearing moment with a variety of rumbles that were exchanged between Kanisa and Tokwe. This is something that we will touch on in future episodes. Good go. This is another lovely example featuring Booby and Kanisa, with an ever-curious Klesiri besides them, who is often touching Kanisa with a trunk as a form of comfort. You can see how Booby has moved her left foreleg forward to provide full access for Kanisa to reach her nipple, enabling her to easily comfort suckle from Booby. Our hearts all skipped a beat when Kanisa decided it was time Babeni tried to comfort suckle from her. He had just finished comfort suckling from Satombe, and Kanisa ensured that she was in the right place at the right time and adopting the right suckle stance to encourage him to take her nipple. Knowing her journey of survival and seeing her do this for another special rescued calf made us all melt. She is going to be no doubt a very caring big sister to Babeni. Satombi is seen here ready and waiting in a suckle stance, having moved her right foreleg forward for Pabeni. He calmly and naturally advances to take her nipple in his mouth in the act of comfort suckling. Once he decided he had finished and had enough, he moved away and Satombi followed his suit. In our final example, we can see Pabeni comfort suckling from two females in one video clip. First, he is standing with his adoptive mother, Satombe as he enjoys a brief comfort suckle from her. You can see her left foreleg positioned ahead of her right foreleg, enabling him access to her nipple. He then moves on and passes below Satombe's underbelly to join his aloe mother, Booby, who accommodates the little calf by pausing, remaining still, and moving her left foreleg forward to encourage Pabeni to comfort suckle from her. 
You often see the females that are nursing calves swinging their trunks back and forth towards their nipple. This is a behavior that we will touch on in another future episode. So from the comfort cycle behavior to the cycle stance behavior, this is a wrap for our third episode of our elephant behavior series. We hope that you found it interesting and are able to easily identify these behaviors going forward. Who knows what we'll touch on in episode four, but be sure to tune in for more. Thanks for watching and don't forget that just by watching our videos and liking and sharing and subscribing that you're helping support Herd and all the work that we do. If you missed out on episode one or two, click on these links prompting you now. Cheerio!